Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm actually doing a winter review video uh, somebody asked for on one of my other barbecue videos. So uh, just doing a little review after, I guess we're getting pretty close to this being a one year review. Um, but there are a few things that I would like to mention. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this video right here. Uh, if you hear a little noise in the background and stuff, kids are out here playing, dogs are barking. Uh, it is what it is. I think last time I had a, a gardener that wouldn't stop blowing leaves next to me. So all right, sorry. So I'm um, just moving in and out of different light variances here. So we'll see how the camera does. Um, the finish on this barbecue is actually holding up pretty well. Um, it's been out of a cover for the last couple months. It's been rained on uh, a bunch of different things. My dog pulled my cover down and ate it. So I just ordered a new one. So I cleaned it all up. Gonna put it back under the cover, but here's one of the things. Look, all right. This is, I guess, not <laughs> waterproof. So we got some moisture trapped in here underneath the gauges. Um, a few other minor details or things that have happened, uh, you know, after burning some hot fires and things, you notice that the finish is off down here, which has led to some surface rust. So I'm actually gonna show you how I'm gonna clean that up and then treat this so that it doesn't uh, keep rusting and then eventually rust through. So just something there. Um, firebox holding up. Uh, surprisingly well, you know, nice thick steel, no problems there. My gasket that I put on the seal hasn't burned off yet. And uh, just take a look at everything under here. Um, so this is the, uh, the the charcoal box here. You can see I cooked some chicken out here yesterday. Uh, so basically somebody asked me how I keep all this in here clean and all that stuff. You know, just wire scrub brush. And then when it comes to just a wire scrub brush. And then whenever it comes to removing the old ash and things, um, just I got a, a shot back there, then I just vacuum that out and it's like new. So um, just something to keep in mind. This side here, keep it clean. It will light on fire and you will get some pretty good fires going on inside this one. Um, you can see the back there, uh, the finish, it's picked up a little bit of moisture. It started to rust. Uh, the same thing holds true out here on the back. There's some uh, light surface rust down here on those vents and things to keep in mind. Uh, the burner here is still holding up. I haven't had any problems with that. Haven't had any problems with any of my connections or gas lines. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, underneath, I have actually noticed that this here becomes a problem. This will fill up with so much ash and uh, you know just leftover burnt material there and there's no way that I have found of removing it. So this is just uh, tack welded into place. So what I've done is I've actually bent this down and now I can get my shot back in here. So just every once in a while I give it a little quick once over and then just make sure you empty out your drip tray. Uh, all this still holding together. You can see my new my new cover, can't wait to put that on. Um, yeah, other than that, I, uh, the wheels aren't rusted, the legs aren't rusting, um, the finish is holding up really well. And I continually move it back and forth into different places, and so this is actually holding up pretty well too, no, no warpage, no anything like that, so. All right, well, I hope that answers some of your questions that some of you guys have had, um, you know, winter barbecue and all that stuff. Now. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is uh, the middle of January right now and it's supposed to be like 70 degrees where I'm at here. So my winter barbecuing might not be the same as like your winter barbecuing, you know? Nor up north, Midwest, Canada, <laughs> there's a lot of other places uh, that get a lot colder than where I'm at here. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take care of this rust that some of you guys might run into. So this is just, this is just a simple canola oil cooking spray. So all I'm gonna do, and you can do this without the cooking spray, you can um, you know, use any of the cooking oil that you're used to. So I'm just gonna spray that right there. And then this is just a, a 400 grit SOS pad, uh, or a scotch right? So we'll just clean that up really good right there. 
So as we do this, we're just knocking that surface rust off. All right, and just take my old rag here, I'll wipe this off. You can actually feel it, it's pretty smooth. And now that I got that wiped down, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this torch here. I could build a fire on the inside, but um, I'm getting ready to put the cover back on it, so I don't want this being too hot. So I'm just gonna take this here, I'm gonna heat that metal up. And then, once you get it really nice and hot, let's go ahead, we're gonna spray it again. Just a light coat, rub it really nice, smooth it out. And essentially all that we've done is we have just seasoned that mild steel that this is made out of, much like you would do a cast iron skillet. So I can do this over here, underneath the firebox. I don't have any rust there, but if I did, it would be a similar process. There you have it. Just a nice little quick coat of oil. Keep everything nice and shiny and prevent that rust from causing any further damage. All right, and there you go. Hopefully the lighting wasn't too bad for you. You guys can see some of those things that I was talking about. If you couldn't, put it in the comments. Um, and if you found it useful, hit the like button. And um, if you're new to the channel, you're into the outdoors and things like that, you want something to watch, hit that subscribe. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video. And um, again, if there's anything else that you need, put it in the comments. This cover has actually been redesigned. I just picked this up on Amazon, 39 bucks. It's a heck of a deal. Alright, now she's all tucked in, ready for the next meal.